and welcome back everybody. My name is Altar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Pillars of Eternity, the Triple Crown Run. Uh, where we left off the last time, we were about to enter this room. It just has two Will-O-Wisps inside, so... Yes. Really shouldn't be all that challenging. Spot on. In fact, one's dead already. And the other one is dead as well. So that was pretty super easy. And these are... Four egg-shaped stones sit atop short, narrow pedestals, all face an altar in the middle of the room. The images in this alcove depict a row of pale stones surrounding a suit of armor. Something flows from the stones into the armor, imbuing it with a golden halo. And that's actually all of the exploration to be done in this particular section. So, we're going to go into this main hallway again, and we're actually going to go through that door. i got to admit, the Ingwithans had some pretty sweet architecture. Too bad their uh, civilization, like so many others, fell. Just once, I would love to play a game where, like, you are in sort of like the final stages of an empire. That'd be super cool. I think that'd be really neat. Not after it's fallen and in ruins, but before that point, when it's, you know, you must gather your party before venturing. It's still forth. powerful, but you can clearly tell it's on its way down. What is it? What the hell were you doing way up there? It's a nice statue. Yes. But yeah, that would be neat. Just to kind of see how it collapses. Maybe with some civil war or an invasion. The only game I can think of that was a lot like that was um there was an Age of Empires expansion, or possibly just the base game, I can't remember, Age of Empires 1 I should say, where Rome is invading Greece, and though you can uh, slow them down a little bit, eventually the Romans overwhelm your Greek states, and that's it, it's over. It was kind of neat. By the way, we're back on the top floor yet just again. Say the word. And there's a staircase here with an artifact machine that's going around. Well, looks like there's also some corpses surrounding it. I don't remember if there's a fight here. There is, however, a waterfall. Or a river, whatever you want to call it. Yes. Alright, let's go do this thing, I guess. And keep her way back. A haze of essence lingers over the body, as faint and insubstantial as a dust plume in a rider's wake. Yet as you draw closer, whispered instructions echo in your ears, and anticipation warms your blood. In a vision you see the same stone machine you approached moments ago, but from a different height and angle, as though through different eyes. You'd heard rumors that some of your brethren were sent here months before, yet you see no sign that anyone has been here. In fact, the cobblestones are covered in a fine layer of dust. Ash. You, so, you know suddenly what this will cost you, and you are ready. The orders were clear. The effects of the machine in Cleabang Relog were wearing off. A child had been born not far from Deerfoot recently, its soul intact. The machine would need to be reactivated. You and your companions take up your positions. You share a final look of affirmation be between yourselves. They don't know your name, and you don't know theirs. But you know that you're doing the work of the gods together. None of the rest matters. Two carved bends of stone in the middle of the machine grind into motion. They rotate in opposite directions, picking up speed until they spin like freshly greased carriage wheels. A wind shrieks through the cavern, accelerating with the stone rings. You press your hands to your ears and grit your teeth against the noise. You were about to shut your eyes when you glimpsed a new movement. Rows of triangular flaps around the machine open like petals. You don't know what's happening in the machine, but you feel a tingling in your extremities. Searing pain spreads through your body, a hot knife separating every tissue and ligament within you. All the while, it feels as though you're falling towards the machine, your stomach mashed against your spine. What happens next is too fast to process. You awaken from the vision to find yourself kneeling and gasping for air. Holding your head, you let the tiles beneath your knees gradually come into focus. As you catch your breath, 
You remember the strange scene you saw outside Clean Lee, where several robed figures fell amidst a howling Biowak. Looking at the ash scattered across the cavern floor, it is apparent that the leaden key has been doing this, whatever it is, all over the Deerwood. And that is actually the end I'm of this quest now, too. Quick and quiet. We're so good, guys. Dust. Yes. I mean, you know what they gone. say. All we are is dust in the wind. In this case, literally. I wonder if I can stop this thing. Something in the ether hums and buzzes between your teeth. Alright then. I guess not. So we can go out a different way than when we came in. Using this river system. You hear running water and see a small stream that carves its way into the mountain. I will inspect the stream. A shallow bottom flickers and wavers just under the water's edge, but as you look towards the tunnel, the bottom disappears into darkness. From here, it's impossible to tell how deep the stream is. However, a faint light plays over the walls of the tunnel. The echo of rushing water suggests that the tunnel and stream continue for quite some distance. We wade in. You take slow, sloshing steps towards the mouth of the tunnel, holding yourself upright while the current tugs at your legs. The cold water leaves you gasping, and as it rises past your waist, you fight to control your breaths. The stream soon... Oh, the stream bed soon drops up from under your feet, and the current pushes you out toward the tunnel with growing force. We're going into the tunnel, here we go. The current pushes you through the tunnel faster and faster, tugging you downward. Over your head, the tunnel narrows and drops, leaving only a thin pocket of air. You take a final deep breath before the current drags you into the depths. Rays of light pierce the darkness, but the current is moving too fast now for you to see more than flickering glimpses as you pass by. You keep your hands in front of you and focus on avoiding jagged rocks that suddenly appear in the darkness, jutting from the walls. A light winks up at you ahead. You're approaching it fast, but it looks to be the mouth of a second, smaller tunnel. You might be able to reach it, but your lungs have started to ache. Grab it. You wrap your fingers around the rocks lining the tunnel and peer into it. It terminates in a dead end, but something glints among the rocks on the far side. Reaching it would be a challenge for anyone without strong lung capacity. Invincible, go! Invincible 3 <laughs> pulls himself into the tunnel, executing deft scissor kicks while the passage narrows. At the end, he finds a skeleton with a handle protruding from its ribs. Invincible 3 pulls it three free and pushes off from the wall, propelling him back towards the main tunnel. Swirling and tumbling through the darkness of the tunnel, you at last see a halo of light above, and you swim and kick towards it. At last, your head breaks the surface, you gulp air into your aching lungs, and you pull yourself to the edge of the pool. Crawling out of the water, you look back at the cavern around you as you massage feeling back into your aching, cold, numb limbs. We have gained an item, the Rose of Salt Hollow. We survived! Hooray! Also, we are now in this cavern area that we cleared out earlier. Oh, where well, there's loot we didn't grab. Some Adra. Now, what is the Rose of Salt Hollow? It looks like something to do with being sold. It's a 200 Morning Star with corrode damage and damage restored as endurance, which is, I mean, it's a good thing, don't get me wrong, but we have A, nobody that uses 200 maces, and B, we don't want anyone that uses 200 maces. The only 200 weapon I'm going to be using in this game, aside from ranged weapons, like reach weapons, with my Chanter, is going to be the huge warhammer of um, Abaddon we get later on. And that is actually, I think, going to be my barbarian weapon. I think I'm going to use a 200 barbarian to do just massive cleaving damage with that thing. Who am I going to get rid of to make this barbarian, you ask? That's an excellent question. I'm not entirely sure yet. Possibly my... No, not my mage. Possibly my rogue. Maybe my rogue. Possibly my... F I like my fighter, though. Can't get rid of my paladin. I'll figure that out later on. Now, as you may or may not realize, we only really have one more quest to do for the yes. uh, hollowing of the Deerwood quest. We have to go talk to our good old friend... What's her name at the Hadrid House? Uh, Lady Webb. That's it. I was like, the spider, the spider queen, that doesn't sound right. Something to do with the webs. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the webs. And it does, Hadrid House is Lady Web. A very telling name, if you ask me. Hey, what happened here? 
Lord Bruno, he left. He's a drunk. Okay. We have several soldiers guarding our base. Hopefully. Anyways. Are we building anything at the moment? We should probably check that. It does not appear we are, so what's next on our build-a-thon? We could build walls. Yeah. We could build training grounds. Uh, that's not so bad. We could build woodland trails, which is both prestige and security. Which I think might be the best choice. We're not super concerned about money anymore at this point, because we are uh, we're sitting pretty at 31,000. Ooh, that's not good. There's an assassin somewhere. Where is it? I don't see him. Assassin? Oh, he's up there. To whispers and shadows. Just say the word. Let's go take a look at this assassin squad. I mean, there's quite a few of them. Oh. Certainly. Let's disperse hey our people. Oh shit. As you approached, or as you near the apparition, you were overcome with, they are overcome suddenly by a powerful anxiety that sits like a stone in your stomach. The feeling is not quite real, the recollection of an emotion rather than the emotion itself. It wrenches your insides nevertheless. The apparition's brow is tense, the look of concern plain on its face. The other missionaries say you have been neglectful of your duties. They lie. They speak out of concern for you. Now tell me. Is there something to their concern? The apparition waves off your defense with its hands. The pain in your stomach deepens and you feel for a moment as though you were about to be sick. Your mouth has gone dry. Forgive me, Eminence. I wish to leave the order. The man folds his fingers together and presses them to his mouth, thoughtful. You have been an apt student and your convictions have inspired those around you. May I ask what has changed to make you feel this way? The people the people we intend to convert they commit unspeakable acts sacrifices, mutilations the operation exhales slowly its lips pressed together a sympathetic rapport in its eyes it places a hand on your shoulder these are the ways of the heathen world surely the gods would do better to destroy us all and start anew <laughs> perhaps they would it may come to that one day this is why we must not fail the heathens are beyond the gods' reach. They do not know better. We are tasked with delivering them to the gods, so that the gods may heal their souls. Is such a thing possible? I have seen it with my own eyes. You will see it too, if you choose to remain. The specter smiles warily. There is no greater calling than the one we have chosen. Neither words, nor wealth, nor battle will end this suffering. Only the gods. Will you give them that chance? The knot in your stomach seems to loosen all at once, and the anxiety is replaced with something else entirely. Something warm and soothing, and it is something you know you can never repay. As the vision fades, you start to become cognizant of the many odd looks aimed in your direction. Your last response echoes in your mind. I will. Alright, so we have assassins to kill. Yeah. Let us organize a ooh. Mm hmm. Let's go like this and like this. Ooh, shit. Who's seeing? Oh, I guess that thing. Don't really care about him. Just say the word. Uh, I'm going to switch to spear and board for this mm -hmm. fight. Oh. And I think that's going to be our formation. Just Something say along the word. those lines. Death to our enemies! Ooh, that's a lot of dudes. Time to fireball. Like right there. Now you are in mortal combat with this thing. Or this guy, I should say. Let us... How are these assassins doing? Injured? Bunch of injureds. Let's get some friends of ours out.
These are tough assassins. Did these guys just heal? Yes, they did. So one assassin's dead, that one at least. Um, what other AoE spells do I have? I don't have any more. I guess I can actually use them. Yeah. Let's try that. There we go. Weak willed fools. Oh, come on, die already. Cool. All right, you guys on that one now. Got to try something. Let's get some more will o' wisps. Let's soul reap these guys a little bit. Healed me a little, not a whole lot though. Blinding strike. Let's try that. You are almost dead. That's bad. Heal yourself, good sir, and you come here. You should have run. Stupid assassins. That assassin's dead. Last assassin. Dead. All right. That was quite the group. No magical items on the entire group of really powerful assassins. What a shocker. However, that is a bunch of stuff for us to sell. And we got a letter. I bet you it's a bounty. Notice for us. What would it have been called? What did it look like? It looked kind of like this. No, that's not it. Yeah, that's not it either. Nope. Not that one. Oh well. It was a letter of some sort. I'm sure it doesn't make that what big of a deal. Good day to you. Excuse me, but I've been looking for you. You're the one who lifted the curse on Heritage Hill. My lady, who wishes to remain anonymous, has entrusted me with bringing you this pistol. It belonged to a dear friend of hers who was lost to the curse. For your part in reclaiming Heritage Hill, my lady wishes you to have it. Here, may it serve you well in battle. Is this all? I had have expected more. I am but a courier, and I only do what I'm asked. Now I must be off. Farewell. The pistol's actually kind of nice. 6 DR bypass, shock damage, and it is, uh, accurate. Or it adds accuracy to other people what that are attacking it? the same target. Pretty cool. It's a really decent pistol, actually. can't believe it's already almost 6 o'clock. Today has flown by. I think I'm going to do a Neverwinter Nights quest after this. And then, um... Or, of course, Neverwinter Nights video after this. And then it's going to be time for some Total War and watching Rome at the same time. Because why not? Oh. Why are you standing there to block my, my stealing? What a terrible turn of events. Anywhere else in this blasted place? Lady Webb will see me now. Well, that's fine. I will come see here when I have a moment. I got to rob the house first. At least as much as possible. There's a lot of Dunrid agents here. Damn. They're everywhere. Oh, Lady Webb. I suppose this is all SP. Ooh. I'll handle this. Don't worry, I'm just gonna lockpick this. Not gonna steal it. It's done. No stealing. No touching. This woman clutches a thick stack of parchment with spindly wrinkled fingers, their flesh stretched thin to near translucence with extreme age, a gossamer veil over pale blue veins, ink splotches and candle burns dot and stripe her hands like a quilt patterned after some great indescribable truth. She does not look up from her reading. So the messenger conveyed my summons, a miracle that would make the reincarnation of Aethys look like a child's cantrip, surely. 
It doesn't draw the most inspired minds, messaging. They failed me so many times of late, I nearly sent a cipher after you instead. So this is the Watcher who took over Cad Noir. Oh, don't look so surprised. It isn't an attractive expression. I wouldn't be where I am for long if I let details like that escape me. She glances up from her readings for the first time and looks you over. And this fiasco in the sanitarium that you seem to have gotten yourself into the middle of. What in blazes possessed you to stir that nest of trouble? There's somebody I needed to find. Not just any someone, though. Someone in the service of the Leaden Key. That's true. You're not the only one with an interest in their recent activities. I've lost four ciphers this year alone trying to get someone inside their ranks. As it is, we only have our suspicions about who is in the group and what they intend. Which I suppose means we have much in common with them. I asked you here because I wanted to know what your interest was in all of this. I thought perhaps we might help each other. Why are you looking for the Leaden Key? One of their members caused my soul to awaken and I need him to reverse it. She closes her eyes and the lids flutter. Then her face goes still and her mouth parts, little more than a sliver, and her hand briefly drops open, spilling some of her parchment onto the ground, the pages wafting around her legs like the leaves of a dying tree. Her fleshy eyelids peel back and her gaze is immediately upon you. The gods are cruel, I'm afraid. The man you seek is Theos Ix Arcanon. Grand Master of the Leaden Key. One of the most elusive and dangerous men Aeora has ever known. How do you know I think Theos? Because you have seen his face, and that makes it a simple matter for me to see it. You even happened to catch him in a ceremonial garb, it seems. Must have been a special occasion. And what can you tell me about this Theos? More than most. Though very few would know so much as his name. And there is no way of knowing how much of what I've read is true. The Leaden Key dates back more than 2,000 years. If rumors are to be believed, Theos was the one who created it. Damn. What scraps of evidence exist suggest that he has died many times, only to be reborn each time exactly the same man awakened during adolescence with all the knowledge and experience of all his lifetimes the plots he orchestrates sometimes take hundreds of years to bear fruit needless to say this is not the natural order of things but he is said to be one of Woodica's favored and that old bat was never one to let rules get in the way of favoritism. That may also explain another supposed gift of his. His body is no boundary to his soul, and he is known to take possession of others, if their souls are weak enough. Often it is for elaborate deceptions, but sometimes he simply forces them to kill themselves. He is not known for his generous supply of pity. He'd be the worst internet troll and just be like, why don't you kill yourself? And then people just start dropping dead. He is also not one to show himself in any but their most critical matters. If he has directly involved himself in whatever the group plots now, it may be your only chance to find him. And once you do find him, if you can find him, I would not hold my hopes too high if I were you. He is a driven, single-minded man. He will not have the slightest concern for your problems. Then what do you want from me? Keep me informed. The Leaden Key has been busy lately, and that is distressing news. I can only guess as to what they intend. You seem to have a knack for turning the stones they've crawled beneath. Keep turning them. Dunreed Row will not stop you. Whatever it is they're up to, figuring it out will be of great use to both of us. In your case, it will surely point you to Theos. In return, I will share our knowledge with you as we learn it. 
and provide you with what assistance I can. And if I refuse? Then you would look foolish because it is a standing offer. There is no need to refuse. If you find your trail has run cold, come to me with whatever you have. There is much I may be able to do for you. Well, there is something that I can tell you about the Len Key's operations. Well, let's hear it. I found Theos in Brackenberry Sanitarium impersonating a patient. He was trying to damage the public's opinion of animancy. Forgive me. It is unlike Theos to leave witnesses. He must be furious. Probably a little mad, yeah. He did not aid you as you'd hoped, I take it? Well, take heart. With any luck, when he has finished his business, he will surely come and find you again, if only to kill you while you sleep. Her eyebrows are raised, two painted lines over a barren, slewing skin, her forehead a lattice of wrinkles upon wrinkles, the corner of her mouth perks. This news of yours makes sense, of course. To dabble in animancy is to puzzle over the secrets of the gods. This would not be the Leaden Key's first action against it. But if this is connected to their other activities, we may be in for something on a much larger scale. Indeed. If we can learn more about their goals and methods, perhaps we can get the palace behind us. With Avar's support, we may be able to put a stop to this. The Inquithin Tower in Heritage Hill contains an ancient machine that can control the flow of souls. The Leaden Key activated it. This is troubling. That civilization seems to have known more about the mechanics of souls than anyone since. The Leaden Key was born in that period. It may be that Theos has full knowledge of their technology. The applications of this machine you speak of. I don't want to think about it. That isn't enough to take to the Duke, but we're close. Avar Wolfgrin is a cautious man. He will want to know everything possible before being moved to action. The Leaden Key is manipulating a group of Anguithan machines that span the country, and it seems to be causing the Hollowborn epidemic. I had feared they might be involved in Widewind's legacy. It seemed... Too extreme, even for them. How naive I've been. The Leaden Key's conspiracy is clear now. They have used Anguithin technology to engineer Widewind's legacy, and they want people to blame Animancy for it. As we speak, the Duke is holding hearings in the palace. He is listening to arguments for and against animancy. When they finish, he is expected to decide whether to outlaw it. It seems the Leaden Key has been pushing Deerwood down this path for some time. And we gain some experience. I, for one, would enjoy seeing their little scheme fouled up at the last moment. Our Duke must hear what you have to say. Unfortunately, the hearings are closed to the public, which makes the Duke inaccessible until they are completed. All right. However, certain groups have been invited to attend. You might get in with one of them if you aren't above a little pandering. There are delegations from the Knights of the Crucible, the Dozens, and from House Dominell. If you can gain the support of one of those groups, that may be your best way in. See what you can arrange. Um, what else is there to know about the Leaden Key? Precious little, I'm afraid. You may know much of it already. No one member knows the identity of more than a handful of other members. They are kept in the dark of missions they are not involved in or sometimes of those they are involved in. They exist to hide secrets they themselves don't know, 
If you can imagine how gullible someone must be for that to appeal. It's true. Despite that, they are very good at what they do, owing much to their founder, who will take matters into his own hands when necessary. And he does not fail. Hmm. I want to discuss the Animancer hearings at the palace. What of them? Wouldn't they allow a guest of Dunrid Row into the hearings? We would only do that as a last resort. Walking in with one of the three invited groups puts you in a position of influence. Walking in alone as a representative of Dunreed Row would earn you distrust among all the rest. It seems our organization has a reputation for nosiness and manipulation for whatever reason. She glances to one side, suspiciously. It would be best if people did not see Dunreed Rose's hand in this. Easier for them to embrace the truth. That's a fair point. Alright, that's going to be it for now then. And that's also going to be the end of our video. So, we have a goal now. We have to go help the Crucible Knights. We already know what their quest is. Or at least I do because I read it. Because <laughs> I wanted to know how it went. But other than that, we are pretty well done for the day. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, there will be a Neverwinter Nights video tonight as well. And uh, from there, tomorrow will be another Pillars of Eternity. Take care, guys. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And like always, suggestions, comments below.